All right, this story is should be for stories too good to be true, and says it's called Kingston teacher arrested charge of personating a police officer. The test at the Elston Road Police Station, Kingston, have arrested and charged a teacher with impersonating a police officer. 38-year-old Troy Chambers of Killarney Avenue, Kingston 20, has also been charged with illegal possession of a firearm and ammunition. He's appeared to appear on the gun court this upcoming Wednesday. According to the police, about 5 p.m. on Thursday, last Thursday, Chambers visited the Elliston, Elliston, police Road, Elliston Road Police Station and introduced himself as Sergeant Police. He had reportedly taken an automatic to give the statement to the police. The police said Chambers had firearm arose their suspicion. He was asked to produce a police identification card, as he should have, as well as a firearm, but failed to do so, admitting he was not a cop. Yeah, and basically what happened that they locked him up basically and took his took his gun. Police last Friday visited Chambers home with a search warrant. And here's a doozy, and here's what was seized. Fifty eight rounds of ammunition, thirty three spent cases, five magazines, and not the ones you read, one handcuff, one glock pistol case, one firearm license with the name Carl Samuels, two holsters, one magazine pouch, again not the one you read, and one combat belt. And the article. Now, when you read the story, you kind of think this is a this is not real, right? This is like something from a TV show or movie. And this would make a good plot. This is why I'm doing the story, but I'm just mean the fact that he was brave or stupid enough to walk in thinking that he could pull a fast one. Maybe one of he's crazy, or like, or like he's, or maybe he's more this diabolical criminal who, um, who just got arrogant and careless. Cause I'm just wondering how he got all those weapons and like, obviously they didn't appear from the sky. I'm just wondering, um, unless and I was wondering, does his teacher salary allow him to pay um, to just bought all that stuff? Did someone the um, give that stuff to him? Did someone sell that stuff to him? I'm just wondering how, how he got all that stuff. Cause that itself would be an interesting story. All right, maybe he's like a secret a, a career criminal on the side. Who knows? Or maybe. He's like a mercenary for hire or that the moon um, that daylights as a teacher. Who knows? This is some very interesting but versus real about the story. But be interested to see what answers they come up with. But anyways, this is for my state to Jamaican Caribbean. Check out my YouTube page. Miles Gusafer and Miles J Productions. Okay.